Hi, Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. And very good morning, I bid to Dr. Abu Bakar. Um, my name is Muhammad Murshid bin Muhammad Zaini and my matrix ID is 193948. Uh, so today I will be presenting on my lesson plan for lesson plan assignment for the course LHE 3209, Teaching of Reading. So in this lesson plan, I have assigned my lesson into three stages, which are uh, induction set, pre-reading stage, while reading stage, and post-reading stage. I will be sharing my screen. Okay. All right, so as you can see here, I have been assigned to teach skimming and scanning reading strategies using expository text. So basically expository text uh, are texts that a writer intend to expose an information. So expository text could be a description could be a sequence and etc. So this is my lesson plan. I have decided to teach uh, a form for students with the proficiency level of intermediate. The class hour is uh, one hour, which is uh, usual class time. And I will not be using textbook. And instead, I have provided my own uh, text that I selected from the internet. <clears throat> the main skill that I'll be focusing on my lesson is reading skill. By the end of the lesson, students uh, will be able to scheme and scan for the information in the text, explain their understanding of the text, and complete the worksheets provided by their teacher. The success criteria will be the students will be able to apply the skimming and scanning strategies in their reading. Excuse me. And also they'll be able to write the topic of the text given and highlight all the specific details asked by the teacher. And Last but not least, the students will be able to present their answers in worksheet two to the class. In my teaching, I'll be using PowerPoint slides, worksheet one and two, and both uh, worksheets consist of expository text. And I'll be using a great expectation novel in my induction set. And, uh, I also be using YouTube video. Uh, the link of this YouTube video, uh, I'll be pasting here. Okay. And uh, for the 21st century classroom teaching and learning features, I'll be using think, pair and share and also presentation because uh, in the post reading stage, the students will have to do oral presentation and they will be pairing to do the um, worksheet number one in the while reading stage. So in my lesson for the set induction or the pre-reading, I will greet my students. And then uh, to get into the topic, I will give them situations on how the scheming and the scanning strategies we use. So this is why I have this novel, um, Great Expectations by Charles Dickens, because at the back of this novel, it is actually uh, the publisher um, displays the 
synopsis of the novel. So this is when students will understand that they are actually skim the novel because they are just going to read uh, the synopsis or the short excerpt written behind the book to get the whole idea of what is this novel is about. Okay, and then to depict the scanning on how the scanning were used in their daily life, a uh, teacher will give situation, let's say students, you want to have pizzas. So you, we were craving for pineapple pizzas. So we will go to the uh, Pizza Hut, let's say Pizza Hut, and we will scheme the whole menu. Okay, so they have pizzas, they have chickens, they have a lot of other things. But we are going to scan for specific details because we already know what we want, right? So we want pineapple pizzas. So the keywords that students will uh, search for is toppings, maybe, because those are the keywords for what they want, the pineapple pizza. So they'll search for toppings, keywords such as toppings, and also pineapples, right? So those are scanning, how the scanning strategy were used in the reading. You look for specific details. And then teacher will ask questions to tap onto student schemata. This is to jog their mind, to warm up. Uh, their mind and then teacher relates the situation in the pizza hut in the bookstore to the lesson which is skimming and scanning strategies and then in the pre-reading stage I will be showing a short video about skimming and scanning uh, on YouTube so this is the link and uh, this video uh, was performed by Laurie Merlin, if I'm not mistaken. And uh, I will ask the students to watch the video carefully. And also, uh, I will be showing the students on how to scheme and scan by showing them PowerPoint slideshow. In the while reading stage, I will, I will distribute worksheet one. So in this worksheet, uh, I have selected an expository text, which uh, focus on recipe on making Tom Yum. So I will be dividing students into pairs and I will demonstrate on how to scheme and scan based on the text I gave earlier. And then teacher asked each pair to exchange and do cross-checking on the information that they have gained. Later on, I'll be showing you, doctor, uh, my worksheet and also uh, some of other teaching materials. In the post-reading stage, this is in individual activity where I will assess my students' understanding. So uh, in this uh, stage, I will be giving my students um, another worksheet, which is worksheet number two, and it consists of an expository text about COVID-19 first vaccination in Malaysia. So uh, in this stage, teacher, will ask students to do oral presentation by sharing their answers. Uh, and uh, this is an independent activity, individual activity. So they will have to do it by their own, by their own, and I will assess their understanding. And at the end of their presentation, I will give feedback to their answers.
and for the closure session, I will recap the lesson and also I will be asking questions what they have learned throughout the lesson. Now I will be uh, going through showing you the materials and uh, and the worksheet that I have mentioned in my lesson plan. So this is the novel that I have chosen to depict the situation that I gave my students in the pre in in sorry in the induction set. So this is uh, an excerpt, a short text that my students will read and they will understand and able to relate that is actually they are scheming when they are going into the bookstore, they will be uh, looking for a novel, a great novel to read, novel that they love, that they love. And uh, so those are scheming techniques where they go buy a book, buy a book, just read the synopsis instead of reading the whole novel. And then for the pre-reading stage, as I mentioned before, I'll be showing a YouTube video. Uh, the link is pasted in the lesson plan. And this is my teaching slide. Skimming and scanning reading strategies. So I'll be explaining to them what the definition of skimming and scanning, whereby skimming is reading briefly a text to get a general idea of a gist or the text. Of the text so the students will have to you know travel with their eyes along the text <clears throat> and the scanning is actually to read for specific information or keywords without getting without reading the whole text and uh in this uh slide in this powerpoint slides i i want to emphasize on the methods or on the how to scheme and scan because in the video i have chosen it is very uh it's not going into depth on what on how to scheme and scan so these are the techniques that i found from the lecture notes so students will have to read the title subtitle first and last paragraph and also they can uh, read the synopsis or short excerpt provided by the writer. And uh, on how to scheme is actually, students don't have to read in purpose to understand the text. Uh, the eyes should travel through the text briefly. And this is a slide on how to scan that I'll be uh explaining to them that the students should understand the question ask and then identify the keywords in the questions they will have to search for the keywords such as name age number measurement characteristics in the text because uh let's say if we read the questions how to I'm oh, sorry, I'm sorry. Uh, how to scan, okay, scanning can only be used when we, when the students know what they want to look for. So they'll be searching for the keywords. So the keywords could be name, age, number, measurement, characteristic in the text. So in the text, they'll be searching for let's say name, so they'll be in capital letters, Murshid, Abu Bakar, and age, they are numbers. Numbers, they could be quantity, as same as measurement, right? So, and the last one, they can underline the keywords in the text and answer the questions. Okay, and this is the end of, uh, pre-reading stage and this is moving on to while reading activity where I mentioned I gave my students worksheet one. So in this worksheet, I found a text about making Tom Yum. So 
So this worksheet, I'll be using this worksheet, this text, to demonstrate how reading strategies, skimming and scanning were applied. Teacher will prepare the students by asking them to take out their pens and highlighters before proceeding with their skimming and scanning lesson. So in this text, <clears throat> if, uh, if I ask the students to scheme, they'll just go through the uh, text paragraph by paragraph, reading the, the title, and then they'll go through the first sentence of the paragraph and also the last sentence of the paragraph. This is basically, basically guessing what the text is all about, getting general idea of the text. And also for the scanning, I'll be asking them to look for uh, on how to make Tom Yum, the recipe of Tom Yum. So that question requires students to look for specific details. So the specific, specific details will be numbers and quantity of how ingredients A needed and how much is ingredient B needed. So as you can see from this text, these are actually the numbers that they, the students that will be looking for. Seven kaffir lime leaves, three tablespoons of lime juice. So these are the specific details that I uh, put in the text that the students will have to highlight and find. One kilogram of fresh river prawns. <clears throat> so, when we were done in this stage, I will be moving on to the post reading activity by using worksheet number two. This is individual work and I'll be distributing this worksheet to my students to test their understanding after the teaching and also after the practice or uh, exercise that we have done together. So basically this article is about uh, Malaysia first COVID-19 vaccination program. But I did not put the title because I want my students to scheme through the text and guess and suggest the best topic that they could uh, fit the text that they have schemed. So in this question that I uh, construct based on the text above, suggest one suitable topic. So the answer will be B, whereby the text is talking about the first COVID-19 vaccination in Malaysia. And the question number two until five will be focusing on scanning because they have understand and they have read the, this question and they will only have to go back to the text and look for a specific keywords. As example, this question, Pfizer has become the first manufacturer that gain approval from the Malaysian government to supply its vaccine in this country. Name the brand of vaccination provided by this company. So in this question, they, uh, the students will already uh, know, notice that they will have to find a specific details on the name of the brand uh, vaccination that provided by Pfizer. So they will go back to the text and look for a vaccine brand. And this is the answer, Pfizer BioNTech. As for question number three, how much Pfizer BioNTech vaccines has Malaysian government received on its first batch intake? So in this question, how much 
uh, as for numbers, as for quantity answers. So they will have, the students will have to go back to the text and scan for numbers in the text. And uh, so they have 500,000, 300,012. Uh, so those are numbers and they have to be alert on what answers they are picking. So this is the right answer to question number three and so on and so forth. Number four. Uh, how much, so this is a question again, asking about the quantity. So they will have to look for the keywords, uh, Sinovac, Sinovac could be a keyword in the text as well. And also how much means they have to look for quantity or numbers. And the last question is the Malaysian prime minister opines that vaccine are so as this could be a scheming question because one of the methods on how to scheme is actually to look at the last sentence of each paragraph because in each paragraph, it could contain uh, an opinion of the writer or, uh, or a character that the writer is talking about. So let's say in this question, the Malaysian prime minister is the person that writer wrote about, opine. So they will have to look at what the Malaysian prime minister said about the wet scene in this text. So these are the answers that I provided for my future reference. And uh, to end my lesson, to recap my lesson for the closer for the closure, I will ask my students questions. What have we learned today? Will you apply these reading strategies in your future reading? And will you read more books after you find out these amazing strategies? And what are some of the moral values being taught in this lesson? And I also will share a tip on how to make scheming and scanning easier which is practice makes perfect. And the moral values that I will be sharing with my students is reading is a great habit to form success. Thank you so much, Dr. Abu Bakar, for your attention and for your for listening to my presentation. Uh, that's the end of my presentation on lesson plan assignment for, co for course LHE 3209, Teaching of Reading. Thank you. Assalamualaikum.